is not the same maze you see on Lucifer. Leslie Ann Brandt is a completely different character when the cameras are turned off, or at least when they're not taping for the show. You're going to see her singing, dancing, and goofing off. Plus, we'll tell you one of her hidden gifts. So, here are the funniest bloopers with Leslie Ann Brandt in Lucifer. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 20. She can be a real drama queen. If you could just be better at acting, that would be awesome. <laughs> Netflix shot a blooper reel of season 5, and this has got to be one of the priceless gems inside. Leslie Ann Brandt is acting like a complete drama queen here. Why? Because she's actually telling one of her co-stars that she needs to become, get this, a better actress. <laughs> okay, someone's full of herself. But no, this is actually her alter ego. Most of the time, she's fun and caring, but on rare occasions, she can be quite the bee, and no, not the honey-collecting ones. Number 19. She does a dance before getting on her bike. We don't know why she does it. Maybe it's a ritual of hers, but she was actually doing this little dance as she was putting on her helmet. But in all fairness, we know that taping a show can be exhausting where the actors get little to no sleep, and they're on set for about 16 to 18 hours in a day. That's why you see Leslie singing that she's too tired. No, we don't get a chance to take her. <laughs> Number 18. It's hard getting up after you've had a few. When she went and visited Dr. Linda near the end of the season, she was supposed to get up and ask Dr. Linda, do I need to sleep with you too? But before she could reply, Maze was down on the couch. Why did she fall? Well, who knows? Maybe it's because she lost her balance, or maybe it was because she had a few shots before shooting. But no, it's definitely not the second one. If you like our first three picks, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps the almighty YouTube algorithm, and you get these videos for free. It's a win-win. Number 17. She's not having any of the toxic masculinity. When Amy Garcia walked on over to Kevin Alejandro and started grilling him about not coming to set off it, Trying to be like Douchebag Dan from the show, he said, I've been here all the time, woman. Leslie was not having any of it, which is why you see her doing that face. Work, why haven't I seen you? Where you been? Yeah, Where have you been, woman? Number 16. Leslie is hiding her sides behind the bar. Here's something you might not have known about Lucifer's Morning Stars bar. Everything is fake. From the booze to the faucets, it's all just for the cameras. And of course, during the tour, Leslie told us that behind the bar is where you would usually find the sides of the actors that didn't have the time to rehearse their lines on set. Number 15. She's the Caramel Mocha Demon. She was doing a video with D.B. Woodside while they were waiting for their scene, and she told her fans that she was with, and I quote, her favorite chocolate angel. D.B. just smiled, and then she turned to him and asked, what does that make me, the Caramel Mocha Demon? D.B. thought the name was ingenious and said yes. Me, like the caramel mocha demon? Yes. <laughs> Number 14. She and Officer Dan had some pink pajama fun. She and Officer Dan have had their fair share of interesting moments, but none can come close to the time she dressed him up in pink pajamas. Now, we don't know what came over Kevin in this scene, but he just started dry-humping the air right in the middle of the scene and then ran upstairs. Leslie tried to keep it together, but she couldn't stop herself from bursting out laughing. Number 13. We're guessing she doesn't like the treadmill. To be prepared for all the fighting scenes that her character has to do on set, Leslie has to hit the gym almost every day. She likes working out, but when it comes to doing some cardio on the treadmill, she just completely loses it and does this. We told you she can be a drama queen, or the queen of awkwardness. And speaking of awkward, we should mention that after that treadmill, Number 12. She does this crazy dance routine. Now, we don't know what the dance is called, which is good if we're being honest. Why? Because there's not a living person, except for maybe some, I don't know, crappy clowns, that would think these dance moves are any good. We don't know if she did it for laughs, or if she did it because she was exhausted from working out. Either way, it was really bad. Number 11. She has the longest tongue on set. Literally. Here is one of her hidden features that we mentioned earlier. Tom Ellis said that she has the longest tongue, not just on set, but from any other person he has met. If we're telling the truth, we thought Maze's lizard tongue on the show was actually CGI. Watching this second clip, her tongue is actually that long. Number 10. She's tonguesy. 
Hey, that tongue is not standing still behind the set. It's actually moving around a lot. And after a little more dancing, we almost got to see it in action when she laughingly went in to kiss Amy, who was filming her. Number nine, May's laughing in Lucy's face. Well, of course she would be. The devil damn near choked on a shot and they had to redo the entire scene. Anyone would laugh their butt off when seeing Lucifer almost losing a lung after slamming down 30 mils of vodka. Number eight, she's not the best singer in the world. I think she might be. She's a great fighter, she's smoking hot, and she's an amazing actress. But when it comes to singing, she better leave it to the professionals. Now, we'd hate to be the first one to tell her this, but neither she nor DB can sing. It's great to see them get into the Christmas spirit, but bake some cookies next time. Leave the singing to Tom. Number seven, she couldn't find the right place to sit. We don't know what was wrong with the couch she was sitting on, but Leslie didn't like it. That's why she asked the crew what was wrong, and then did this fart sound as she squatted down before the bed. Number six, showing off her butt, er, outfit. We meant to say outfit. She was supposed to show her fans what her old costume from season one used to look like, but she wound up talking about her butt, and she even flexed it a little. Guess all those squats in the gym are paying off. Number five, Dr. Linda's punch. Trying to pull a prank on their co-stars, Dr. Linda pretended to punch Maze in the face, and it worked. DB actually thought they were fighting and came to split them up. Well, that's nice of him, but when he realized what happened, they were already rolling on the floor laughing. Number four, Amy and Leslie love the mouth filter. Amy was the first one to show her how the filter worked, and then she went around the set and put her co-stars on camera, saying goofy things with these huge mouths. Hey, that sounds like fun. Does the filter still exist? Number three, we told you she's got a lot of sass. Hey, Leslie Ann, do you think- No. Tara, my character would never do whatever it is you're about to offer. Well, we said it in the beginning. We said it a second time, so we'll say it a third time. Leslie can be a diva. Here's another video of her bitchy alter ego taking over when she's treating people like crap. Number two, spank it. Now, this video actually had us rolling on the floor laughing. We didn't expect Leslie to pop up from behind the camera, smack the butt on the old raggedy old doll, and start dancing. That really made us laugh. <laughs> Number one, lickety split. And finally, here's that long tongue in action. Lauren, not being the one to shy away from some tongue wrestling, pulled her tongue out as well and started kissing Leslie. Things were getting really heated really fast. On a related note, What's your favorite scene from Leslie Ann Brandt in Lucifer? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.